Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you what Jarvan Jungle can do after the buffs. He went from being a top 30 jungler to a top five jungler. So he's pretty strong right now. He doesn't have really any bad matchups. Even his hard matchups are pretty much 50-50s. His clear, you can five camp clear around 315, 318. If you have it really optimized, uh, or I should say you can six camp clear, do a 315, 318. I would generally recommend doing a five camp instead of a six camp clear. For some reason, Thresh didn't leash, so this will be a little bit slower than it should be. I think doing a uh, five camp clear is much easier, and it sets you up to give yourself scuttle pressure anyways, because you'll gank after the five camps, and then you'll get scuttle and get level four regardless. That's why I'm not too crazy about six camp clearing on Jarvan. I don't think it's that important. Looks like Teemo is level four. He's running around the map. We're gonna get one auto down on each of the wolves. Once they're this low, we can just use our Q. We don't really need to auto them anymore. We'll back off, we'll let our passive crimp him. Bop. We have our W now. We're gonna drop our flag, Q through all of them. We have our W shield on. You don't really need to auto the little ones because your Q should do just fine. And you get a lot of attack speed from your flag. It has a lot of range to where you're still getting the attack speed bonus, even from here. Your E is really nice. Attack speed bonus, it gives you vision. You get to jump to it with your Q. And now we are pretty much full HP. And I just realized I didn't actually start with the refill. That's so troll. Could go in for a full clear. I'd rather gank this though. I think Teemo's bot side. I think this is gankable, even if there are a lot of minions. I'm gonna hold on to my jump here for a second. I'm gonna W for the slow. Then we're gonna EQ after she's slowed. And we got the kill for the Camille. We don't necessarily want to steal this CS. We're just getting it low for the Camille. If you take the last hits, your laner can freak out. And you don't want to... Like there, I took a few, which isn't great. But we do want to shove this wave. Looks like Camille's backing right now. We're going to put one empowered auto down on each of them. Yeah, I don't think she knows if she wanted to stay or not. But we want to dump this wave because now the turret's going to kill them all. And then the wave's going to push back to the Camille. So she's not going to get frozen out. But yeah, you, you should start with a refill. Because you saw I5 can't clear full HP. I only had one person leashing. But... Uh, you should definitely get a refill. I, I would highly recommend it. I'm, I'm not going to at this point because I don't need it, but seriously, buy a refill. It's going to help you with your scuttle fights, and refill is just one of the best items in the game if you buy it from the start. You want to get Iron Spike Whip, Phage, you want to rush Gore Drinker. For our runes, as you saw at the start, we have the Conqueror set up with the uh, Alacrity. Really important. We have Triumphant, Coup de Grasse. Magical Footwork, Cosmic Insight. You can go Domination Train instead. That is a solid option. Uh, I'll, I'll actually cross through. I kind of want to get a Scuttle Crab. I'm going to Iron Spike Whip. We're going to W Slow. I'm gonna just flash the wall, Q, it's a double. Not bad at all. Just remember your combo pretty much, if you can, you wanna start it with your W because it's a huge movement speed slow. That way it's really hard for them to dodge your EQ, skill shot knock up. Plus your EQ does a lot of damage to where if you're missing it, you don't really have any damage. It's like playing Zerath and missing your skill shots. What are you gonna do at that point? Drop my E on it, I'll Q through. Your W shield is bigger per enemy champion nearby. We're gonna walk back, kite this out. Bop. And your Q does shred armor, which is nice. Your Q is awesome. Amazing ability. The smite took off the shield. I'll wait for Teemo. I may not actually be able to kill him. He has items. I don't know where his top laner is either, so I'll just back. 
Oh, uh, we got beige now. We'll grab a ruby. Get back out onto the map. Driving such a cool champion. If I camp clear before the three minute mark, uh, he can six camp clear roughly 315, which is about the speed of an Evelyn. He scales decently since he's good engaged, but he's obviously not going to scale as well as a Zach or a Kane. So he is still kind of early mid game. His early game is much better than it used to be, though. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this. I'm gonna dash to it after it uses its blowback ability. I use my W to block an attack from it. Auto attack Q. I'm gonna block another auto. This is where having refills really nice. I'll, I'll take blue and grop and I'll be back at full HP. They're kind of freezing it right now. Knock him up, I'll shield after my uh, knockup ends. It should be full HP after Gromp. Put that flag on him, and it's now it's technically behind, so we can hop to it. Botling's actually not looking that gankable. If they were lower on HP, we could die, but they're still full HP. I'll go gank mid. Zach has no flash. He's killable. He's going to E away is part of the problem. Mm, I kind of messed up his wave a little bit. Timo's here waiting for me. I don't think I can actually. Yeah, I knew Zach was going to do something like that. Zach's given Mord some issues. I'll take red. There's really not much I can do there. I guess I can knock Teemo up if he doesn't have flash. Gonna R on him. Oh, I could have maybe held Zack inside. I thought he was going to be able to kill me. We slowed him. Now we're going to knock him up. He missed his Q and he's dead. Awesome. Jarvan's so strong, man. He's actually better than Zinza right now. Zinza's been really, really good. Zin's been high tier for past probably three months. Zin's been a top five jungler. Top three even. Has scuttle up. I'm kind of on autopilot, not gonna lie. That's if you're wondering why I didn't buy a refill potion at the start. Your W doesn't actually do any damage, it's just a slow and a shield, so I'm not gonna use it on this scuttle. I can hop away if she jumps on me. If you're ever in a really precarious situation, just make sure you have your E as an escape option. My R is on cooldown. I'm not looking to force anything too crazy. It's actually so funny how I'm full HP with no refill. This champ is so cracked. They buffed his Q damage. And they also buffed his R damage. And that just... They gave his R way too much damage though. Like level 1 is already doing 300 point and click and I don't have really any items. I landed my slow on him. That's my auto attack. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh wow, that Senna R. That was incredible. I was I was about to be able to outplay Irelia, I think. That Senna R got me good though. Couldn't quite get the Teemo. I real, uh, the Camille went in a little early to where I couldn't quite reach and plus my R was still on cooldown. We have Gore Jinker now though. I'm gonna push for played still caps into a, another control ward. I think our win con this game is gonna be dragons. I think souls are a pretty good win con for us. I am gonna grab this Herald though. If you can get the first Herald before the 14 minute mark, Preferably before 13 minute mark, it's awesome. So you can get some plates. The plates do fall off at 14 minute mark. And Herald's on a six minute timer, so. And at the 20 minute mark, you can't get Herald anymore because of Baron. That's why the first Herald, ideally, you want to be able to get before 13 minute mark. So you can comfortably get the second one if you need to, or if you're able to. Jarvan can come in through the back of the pit. It's really useful against dragons and barons and. Heralds 
if they have scuttle crab they can't even see you so when you come in through the back it's really op junglers like evelyn and karthus don't have options to the Xin Zhao can do that kha'zix starvin i use my gore drinker yeah this guy's done for he he had a uh, yeah, he had, he had, I don't know how he thought he was going to win that. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Gordrinker champs with Conqueror, they're pretty hard to fight. The red smite him. Oh, uh, nearly killed him. He had six health if you were looking closely. I was really close. I think he's gonna be going to his red buff. We'll go check that out. Actually, I'm gonna lay my Herald. It can finish off that turret. Herald takes two plates and a sliver. I assume he's gonna smite it. So he might actually be kind of healthy. I'll shield myself. I don't even have smite, so this is kind of sus actually. Not having smite makes this kind of Risky. I'm gonna take this plant so Timo can't pop over. Use my little shield. Zach shouldn't really know that I'm on this. Oh, now he knows. I gotta hop out. That sucks that they get that. Oh well. He almost seemed like he was coming over here. I'm gonna save my smite. I'm gonna hold on to my E as well. I think Timo's about to plop out. Yep. Oh. Thresh! <laughs> that lantern wasn't very useful. <laughs> oh, is that goddess good? But yeah, when you're Thresh and you lantern, you don't wanna. You want to let your teammates be able to grab it and fly away, but if you're standing right where your teammates are, it doesn't really do anything. <sighs> I wanted to get out of that situation. At least we got the Teemo. Next item you want to get is generally going to be Sterix. A lot of useful AD and tankiness. Really good for Conquer Jarvan. If you want to play Jarvan with Electrocute Dark Harvest, that works as well. It's a little less consistent, a little more uh, <laughs> risky. If you are going to play him that way, Bursty Assassin Kha'Zix style, then you're gonna be going lethality items like Dustblade or Prowlers. We have quite a bit of CS, 100 CS for how much we've been ganking and doing objectives. Oh, she, she's here, what is she doing? Got her. I wanted the golems, that's why I actually queued the golem. I knew she couldn't really kill me because I'm pretty tanky and I have plated. Took Camille a little bit to react, but she reacted eventually, so it's all good. Teemo doesn't have full item yet. I could. Ooh, actually, he does. He has a Nasher. Zach's probably hovering the area. Teemo's standing pretty far up. He actually got me. He had flash. Well played by Teemo. I think he had red smite and I didn't. That was a big part of it. It's a lot of damage and I did reduce damage. Plus he had flash and I... Was my flash up? You know, I'm not actually sure there. That was tough though. Kind of surprised he won that. I was, I was really low on health to be fair. I was super low. We'll play for next Herald. 1 minute 50 seconds. Very sad dying to a Teemo jungle. Teemo Jungle isn't a bad champion, with that being said. I've played a fair bit of Teemo Jungle, and there are a couple of Teemo Jungle players on NA region at least who hover around Master GM. Well, it definitely does work. I wouldn't say this is a good matchup for Teemo, but at the very least, Darwin does do a lot of damage with his autos plus E attack speed, so. All he really needs to do is dodge my EQ, and he has a chance. 
That was a good thresh land. Nice. I'm gonna have to hop away. They're all chasing. Zach's about to hop in, I think. She's building up her fervor. I don't really want to deal with this. Got her. Still have Gore Drinker too. Oh, that's fun. Gore, that, that was actually really useful to be able to get away from the Zack there. Nice, my flag finished him. My passive is really good for killing Zack blobs. Your pass on Jarvan, you do a bunch of extra damage. Uh, percent base current health. If you haven't hit them in the past six seconds, kind of like an MF passive. Dragging up 40 seconds. Harold's coming up right now. Uh, I kind of want Harold. That mushroom still has got a bit of time on it. I'll break it. Break both of those. I want to get over to this Herald, get it done. Is more farming my camps? He is, that's funny. I'm getting a little bit nervous about Dragon. They're all starting to group on it. See how fast I can take this. Should be able to take it pretty quick. Your E attack speed's insane. It gives you passive attack speed and active. You get both. Two for one deal. Looks like that fight isn't going too well. Zach's really good in team fights. We are, we are gonna lose that dragon for sure. No. Nice. Looks like we got the. Uh, the Irelia. I can't really get there in time. Even if I ran straight there, I'd still be late. Looks like my teammates are chasing though. I mean, we could fight this. Mord's pretty big. Pretty good against their team, at least. I don't know what Trist is doing. She's so low. Knock him up. Bounce on his head. W E Q R. Core drinker, of course. Oh, I thought Zach was going to go in on that. Kind of funny. I think we would have had him if he did. What do we have to buy? Next up against their team. Kind of want to go Gargoyle. Gargoyle would be really, really nice. Gargoyle is like having another lifeline item. It's really useful when you're getting turbo focused, which Darwin, a lot of times... When you're trying to hit multi EQs and multi R's and multi W's, you're in the thick of it. And the gargoyle could keep you alive for another four or five seconds if you use it properly. Really awesome item. You see Nasus build it a lot. Generally, uh, tanks don't usually build it. It's more of a bruiser thing or a gore drinker thing. It's an artificial way of keeping you alive. Tanks aren't really tanky this season. Mainly just bruisers. Gore drinkers tanky. Self healers are tanky. Wow. Yeah, the self healing just like just like we saw there. I really uh straight up just one verse two and we have equal items. We both have two full two full plus plated. I think I even... Did she ignite me? She ignited me, but I think I red smited her. Kind of nuts. I guess I'm going to have to get Thorn Mel. I need heal cut. Or I could get Executioner. Get And go for Chem Punk. I think I'll just go Chem Punk for now. How much AP do they have? The thing is, they have so much AP. 
that I think I would rather just go for this at this point. So yeah, even though Jarvan is really good and he's a top five, top seven jungler, you're still gonna lose fights to people like Irelia. I was, it's funny, I was a level up too. I was a level ahead of her. I, you just can't beat someone who has double lifesteal items without heal cuts, it's just not possible. Lifesteal is that good. Got him. Yeah, it really is about to pop off. I don't know if we have heal cut for her over here. Ah, oh, I think I'm dead. Maybe not. Oh, wait, what? That was a good thresh to lantern. I'm gonna go lay Herald from base. I don't even know if I'll be able to. They have to lay it like right now, I'm running out of time. I'm taking a lot of damage from their team. They have a really good team fight with the Zac Teemo. It's hard for me to use my stuff. They all kind of have CC. I think I need to get on the Jin. I was trying to kill the Samira. She's kind of tanky though. She has barrier. The Jin clans won't really help him against my knockup or my R. Why is she taking my Grom? Oh no, they're getting away. I think this is where I, oh shit. I think we're all gonna die now. All right, we died. Let's see if our team can clean up. Nice. Looks like more died to Irelia inside his R. That's tragic. All right, not bad. I mean, we didn't have insane value in that fight, but we did tank a lot with Sterix. That's blocked nearly 2,000 damage. Some big Jin damage. I think Triss actually counters Jin. She has so much attack speed. By the time he can hit her with two autos, she's hitting him with like 10. That's awesome. We got the Herald coming down. Looks like we're going to get Dragon. We're having to play a little bit more frontline Jarvan than I'd like. But our team doesn't really have a tank. I wouldn't say the enemy team has a true tank either, though. It's only Zach. Thrush did an awesome job hooking him out of the air. Our shield's giving us 126 shield for each enemy champion hit. And it's about a Annie's Q range, nearly. If we can multi-hit targets, it's potential 500 plus shield. About 600 plus if it's all five, actually. Try to get on the gin. Or if I can one-shot Teemo, that'd be better. Because if he blind darts me, we're going to miss out on a lot of damage. R now to 600 damage. Holy moly. Scaling up nice. There's that. That sucks. Oh, I didn't realize Jim was actually going to be there. Yeah, if his cleanse doesn't help him. If he knows someone on the enemy team is like immobile, like TF or Jin. Then the uh, Jarvan. There's the Gorge Anchor and a double shield. Yeah, I'm tanky, boy. I am so tanky. I'll show you the damage taken after this game. I think it's going to be crazy high. Knock up and Gorge Anchor. Red Smite. Got her. She nearly pinched off R. I might have killed Camille. I'm just gonna hop over. I don't. Ooh. Gore Drinker. Auto attack. Cute. Nice. Looks like the Irelia Ignite killed her. We'll drop down to E for the attack speed. We could have actually put that behind us. That was a mistake. I don't really want to jump on him without my R. Yeah, I don't want to do this. No, thank you. I'm out of here. 
<laughs> no thanks, bye. So when I was hitting the turret, I should have, for example, if the turret, if this was the enemy turret, I should have put my flag back here. I still could have gotten the attack speed and then I could have just queued away. I shouldn't have put it right on the turret. It's easy to forget just how much empowerment radius it has. Now we have our Gargoyle. We're going to be even tankier. In that fight, we hit a multi-gore drinker. We walked in between them to hit it. We also walked in between the Teemo and Senna to hit a double shield. So that was a 300 shield and... 120 plus 20% 20 of my missing health gore drinker. Pretty substantial. Sterix is so overloaded, man. They need to nerf this item. It's been absolute S tier for this whole season. There's not a single bruiser who doesn't build it. I don't know why I really doesn't have it yet. I should have used my uh, W sooner. Use my gargoyle, gore drinker. I'm gonna flash. Nice. EQW auto attack. I think we landed the knockup too. Yeah, we're cracked, bro. We're actually cracked. Darwin, OP. He's actually so good now, guys. I've played this champ. Um, I'd say about 20 games a season for the past seven seasons, right? So not playing a crazy amount, but he hasn't been this good ever. Like within since like season three, Jarvan hasn't been this good in a long time. Ever since you only saw like Gragas and Jarvan in pro play. You guys watch pro play, I'm sure you remember that's like season three, season four. Like the only junglers you'd ever see. Gragas Jarvan, Gragas Jarvan, Gragas Jarvan Sejuani. Pretty much a jungler who has a dash and a knockup before they are level six would be S tier in pro play. And that's why like Gragas and Jarvan, they've nerfed them so much. To where there are they they haven't been very good in solo queue but obviously jarvin's really good right now i even used the gargoyle it doesn't say how much damage it blocked i feel like it blocked a lot where'd Jin go he just flashed the wall i don't even see him We're gonna multi gore drinker, cancel our R, EQ, I'll auto him once. We're so tanky, man. I haven't even used my gargoyle just to W alone. So good. Uh, I kind of wanted the red buff. Oh, that was a bad smite on my part. Oh, I wanted that dang. Triss went for it while I was on Dragon. We went from struggling a little bit in team fights. It seems like once you have just Gore Drinker, Sterix, you're pretty strong, and then you need some kind of hill cut. So people like Irelia don't mangle you too hard. We're gonna double knock up the Gore Drinker. Auto her down. Uh, team mushroom got blown up on me. All right, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this little Jarvan jungle gameplay commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. And I'll show you the damage taken real quick. All right, so we almost did the most damage in the game. It was pretty much a four-way tie. Yeah, we had one of the highest healing, self-mitigated damage. We had the most.